Hey everyone, now you're watching Triple R Math Leaders, the problem of the day. So now we have system of equations we need to solve, and based on this given condition, we gotta find xy plus 2yz plus 3xz. In order to solve this question, we need three things. The first one, the law of cosine. As you know, this is the formula from, yes, geometry. And again, the formula from geometry the triangle area formula. And now, lastly, the third one, very important, we definitely need him. Hey guys, this is one of my favorite problems. By solving this question, by solving this problem, I want to prove that trigonometry, geometry, and then algebra, they're all connected. They're all in harmony. They always support each other. Okay, let's prove it now. So let's focus on the first equation. I can write this first equation as this. So what I did is, first I wrote x squared and then y squared divided by 3. But instead of plus xy here, I'm writing minus 2 times xy times minus 1 over 2. Because if you cancel that numbers, we are going to have this plus xy here again. And now instead of 25, we can write 5 squared. And then now, we do the same thing with the second equation. So we can write the second equation as this. But do we have yz here? No. That's the reason why we are multiplying yz minus 2 times yz by 0. And now we do, let's do the same thing with the third equation. And now we can write this third equation as this. So first I'm writing z squared plus x squared and then minus 2 times zx times minus 1 over 2. And now Let's focus another very tricky part. So from trigonometry, do you remember th this line, the first line? Do you remember the value of cosine 150? Yes, that's right. That's minus uh, root 3 divided by 2, right? So instead of minus root 3 divided by uh, 2, I can write, we can write cosine 150. And now we do the same thing in the second line. So the value is 0 here. So cosine Yes, 90 is equal to 0. So here, we can write um, cosine 90 instead of 0. And now lastly, we do the same thing again. So instead of minus 1 over 2, we can write cosine 120. So we, we have all these values from trigonometry. And now, let's do another trick. Instead of saying the trick, I would say the beautiful part of a solution. So, let me ask you a question. What's the very famous triangle in geometry? It's a right triangle. Yes, it's this triangle, the triangle ACB. The sides are 3, 4, 5. And of course, you know that 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. And now, right in this triangle, I'm going to draw a point named O, which satisfies these conditions. The angle AOC is equal to 90 and the angle AOB is equal to 150 and now the angle BOC is equal to 120 now I say AO is equal to Y divided by root 3 and BO is equal to X and lastly CO is equal to Z and of course as you might have guessed if you use the law of cosine for these small triangles AOB, BOC and then AOC you are going to have these three equations by using the law of cosine. And of course, how many small triangles we have? Three. And now AOB, BOC, and AOC. The area of this three triangle is equal to the biggest one, which is ACB. And now, based on this concept, we can write this equation. The area of AOB plus A the area of AOC plus the area of A. Um, BOC is equal to the area of um, ACB, the biggest one. And now, based on the um, triangle area formula, uh, we can have this equation, the next line. And now I'm going to multiply, and the lastly, the biggest area, for example, the biggest area is a, a triangle AC, ACB, and its area is equal to 3 times 4 divided by 2. And I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 4 times root 3 and at the end I'm gonna have 
this equation, which is xy plus 2yz plus 3xd is equal to 24 times root 3. Now, the answer is 24 times root 3. So let's sum up what we did. So the question is algebraic question. But did we use algebra? Yes, some part. But of course we used trigonometry and then geometry. And lastly, we have the answer. Alright, if you like the video, let's sum up. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, Tripler Academy. Thank you all.